Merry Christmas, young lady. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a pet, please. It's not quite time to unwrap the turkey and stuff your face full of presents, but as the excitement builds, this year's Christmas update spares a thought for the less fortunate around Barok as we take a look at a stray in a manger. We've learned from the previous holiday events and we really want to give you a kind of mini quest experience and something very festive. So we're making you uh, a partner to an imp who is in charge of Pet Christmas, Christmas for Pets. And you're going to be bringing Christmas to a few stray dogs, the ones that you find in Varrock, for example. So Santa has gone missing for this Christmas event. He's not available. So he's handed out all the other Christmases to the various imps. There's a Madrak Christmas, a Dragon Christmas, and you're helping an imp to do Pet Christmas. So he's received letters from the dogs saying that they haven't got a home or a purpose this Christmas, and you're going to give them that home or a purpose. You bring them in, make them into reindeers, and after they've done their job for Christmas, you're going to give them a permanent kennel to live in, and you can look, look after them and customise that kennel according to any of the gods that you fancy. So it's not just all about the quest in which you kind of build a home for a dog and customise it to however you want. There's also other elements, like we've got some snow implings flying about, which you've got to catch. They're level one hunter, so anybody can pick them up and just get a little bit of cursory hunter XP. There's also a gift of gifting, which is a snow imp. A snow imp kind of throws up a little hairball, which you can pass from player to player and unwrap it and kind of pass the parcel style, get a number of small presents, small customizations for your kennel. If you've got a snow imp from the previous Christmas events, then you're going to get to meet your snow imp again, otherwise you'll get a new snow imp. You also get to meet the stray dogs, find them a home, but um, my favourite characters are the French fleas. They're evil fleas who don't like Christmas and you also got to find them a home in the event. The event will be fully voiced. We're going to have uh, a cockney imp for you to talk to. I'll get to deliver presents to all the pets. The French fleas are also going to be voiced. It is not the last you will hear of, Monsieur Flea. There are no requirements to start this event at all. We try to make it as open to free players and members as possible. We do have rewards, so only four members, but the only kind of content that there is to play that isn't for free players is the implings. Catching the implings around the world of Greenscape, we're going to drop several down for players to catch. I really want somebody to come out at the end of this piece of content feeling like they can be completely Santa. You've got the Santa hat that is uh, available already, but somebody wants to have the beard, and so have the rosy cheeks and the glasses, they can. I'm going to give them a Santa title, a sack to throw over the shoulder, like a cape. So those are going to be the cosmetic rewards, but they'll also be uh, Hunter XP charms for uh, those who want to gain a little bit more Hunter XP after the event. And we've also got the cosmetic updates to the kennel, so you'll be able to upgrade your kennel with any kind of Zaros gear or Saradoma gear, Gothic gear, basically aligned to the gods. When you're walking around, obviously, you see these stray dogs that you have to pick up and rehome, but there will also be wreaths on the doors, we'll have presents around in Alcarid and Lumbridge. We're really trying to give a Christmas feel to the entirety of RuneScape. You get to keep a dog permanently, that's not only for the Christmas event, because obviously dogs aren't just for Christmas. So you have a kennel in your choice of location throughout the world with your choice of dog and you just get to look after it over the course of your RuneScape career. I think this event, more than any other that I've been involved with, really kind of captures the Christmas feel. It feels really festive, you're giving a home to a stray dog, something that's been left out at, in the wild for Christmas, never seen Christmas before. Uh, it's just so much, so much fun and so festive. And the giving theme continues next week as Refer a Friend gets an update that proves it really does pay to have friends.